Our youngest guest yet. His name is Oliver. If you ever have to choose between the life of the mother or the child, ultimately it may be the baby. During some birthday party, right, they were passing the baby around and then someone dropped the baby and then the baby died. Huh? No. Welcome. Is that your nanny bag? Oh my god, so cute. Look at his cheeks. Yeah, he's so fat. <laughs> 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 Uncle John. <laughs> Okay, hello everybody. We have a mini guest here with us, but very special. His name is Oliver. Xiao Den. <laughs> Xiao Den. <laughs> Our youngest guest yet. Our youngest <laughs> guest yet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I hard to talk. He's yeah. only six weeks old. And welcome back to the show, Ned. And Hello. Dan, who is just off paternity leave. Ah, Ooh, welcome back to hell. Back to work. <laughs> <laughs> if you're wondering why we are whispering, it's because we don't want the baby to cry. <laughs> if you're on Spotify, you might want to come over to YouTube. Because you need to read lips today. <laughs> <laughs> when you were expecting your due date, I think in the previous episode, we did mention that mm. it was actually supposed to be the week of the Taylor Swift concert. It could have been. So it was supposed to be end of March, but then there's like a plus minus two to three week window. Mm. So the Taylor Swift concert was literally the earliest possible date. The start okay. of it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I want to ask a question. So let's say you're the, because there was a couple that, actually was very pregnant during yeah. the Taylor Swift concert. Yeah. So do you think if you were those parents, right? Like you felt that if you have felt the contractions during the concert, right? Will you have continued on with the concert <laughs> or leave? Wait, you mean the heavily pregnant one stage? Yeah, she she, felt, she yeah. felt contractions. Then yeah, yeah. after the concert, they went to the hospital. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it, it really depends. Um, <laughs> that is so hardcore. Man. Yeah, she just continued. That is so she just metal. Said, it's she crazy, just like right? every song, right? Then she'll sit down, contract, contract, contract. Then she then stand, then up, she'll stand don't up, don't call again. me kid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it depends on how- That's my favorite song in the whole concert. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Everyone cries out that way. <laughs> To answer that question, it, it depends how close your contractions are because if it's too oh. close really, right, it means that it's almost burning. It's go time. Mm. Yeah, but if the contractions are still far apart, like 15 minutes or whatever, right, actually, oh, you're, you're, actually you're still okay. Mm. Yeah, how, 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 is, how does induction happen? Um, so something that we also found out five hours after induction started. After, so, okay. Yeah. So we set the date already, 12 March, and then we uh, doctor was like, okay, come in at 5 a.m. because once they start the induction, it should take about five, six hours. So just nice is like maybe afternoon, then uh, we can start the whole process. Uh -huh. So we came in at- Oh, no. <laughs> no, he's relieving his- wow. his trauma, his PTSD. Yeah, he's like, oh, I hear the induction. That was me, yes. yes. <laughs> we reached the hospital at six. Yeah, six. cause the doctor asked us to come in right in the morning. Oh, 6 a.m. Um, 6 a.m. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You can set your own time in your set at 6 a.m. <laughs> no, so that because you need the staff to also receive the platelets and to do all the oh. matching, you don't want to do it at the time where it's inconvenient for everybody when you can actually oh. set the timer. Uh, they'll yeah, be like, you want to yeah. set the time, you make it inconvenient for all of us as well. Yeah, so uh, kind. I mean, you pay top dollar to be there, so I'll be like, yeah, no, because 30. It also made sense because billing itself starts from 12 midnight. Correct. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so the earlier you go in, the more, the more you maximize. Yeah. Why, why maximize you finish it. by like 9 p.m.? Then okay. Yeah, no, you but still pay? charge you. Oh, no, 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 you, you pay for that one <laughs> day. <laughs> okay, but if you came in at 11 <laughs> p.m. Here. and then you cross over to 1 a.m., they count it as two days. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so it, the earlier, the better. Yeah. So we went to the room already and then they plugged it in with like all these like IV drips uh. and all these things, right? And then after like <laughs> three, four in. hours, the, the, nurse the nurse kept asking. Yeah, the nurse came in to check because there was the contraction, like the machine to, to detect and all. And she's mm. like, oh, um, do you feel any pain? Mm. I was like, no, why, why, why should I feel pain? Because I didn't know that the they already in induced, induced yeah. me. And then it's like, oh, you're already having contraction. I was like, huh? Oh, <laughs> oh as if uh, the machine was showing, but you were not feeling yeah, the pain. Yeah, I wasn't okay. feeling the pain at all. It's like the quick thing if you think about it. <laughs> the tremors are. <laughs> the seismology. Or like little, yeah, yeah, do you seismic. feel vibration a bit? Oh, no. so what we didn't know was that yeah. the IV drip that they plugged into her at 7 a.m. right was the induction. Oh, so oh. it's a chemical. Yeah. It's a chemical. Yeah. yeah oh. So then I was wondering whether you vet you jab the veg, you know? <laughs> no. Oh, ouch. <laughs> I mean, you do be you oh. <laughs> But there are different ways to induce lah. Mm. Yeah. So mine was through the the drip itself. Yeah. yeah the way to just say please. If you watch Friends, uh, they tried the uh, spicy food. They tried sex. But that's crazy to induce birth by sex. Like you're having sex halfway, then you're like, oops, oh no, I then have caused the baby to be coming. Then good, good. cheap. <laughs> then suddenly we realize after five, six hours, right? Doctor 
check for the for the dilation and the dilation wasn't enough because yeah. right. oh. the that's a weird part right sorry I hijack again yeah dilation is checked via the doctor's finger yeah. gotta go in is My. that not weird I mean it's kind of weird, right? Like every time a doctor comes in, he fingers you a bit. Or she. She, yeah. It's kind of weird. It's weird, but it's also painful. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But what were the kind of emotions y'all were going through? Because I would imagine if it was a natural birth and then it's like you are counting down the days, you're very nervous every day. Is it today? Is it not? But then given that y'all have kind of set a date, right? What was it like in the lead up to that? Uh, I think for me, the last day was the most emotional one. Because like, I always tell him like, I carried like, Oliver for like almost 10 months mm. and then for him to just suddenly not be in my stomach already it feels very weird like now I have to share that love with like everyone else I mean <laughs> I mean naturally <laughs> but someone else can carry him yeah like yeah. to me it's like there, there was that special bond mm. so I think the last shower that I had before we went to bed I was just crying a lot Aww. Yeah, I just couldn't wow, stop I never crying. Heard that one before. Yeah, I I really couldn't stop crying because like to me it's like you're uh, leaving me. Yeah, <laughs> it was just very very emotional, and then you no longer have that bump. Mm. Yeah, right. after that, so yeah, lor. Second chair, it's true. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's completely yeah. bumpless. Yeah. What do you mean? I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, you know, sometimes after people give birth, then you still got a little. Uh, yeah. Still got yeah. a bit. Still got a bit. Yeah. Okay, you look great. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Throughout the whole pregnancy, I didn't like. I wasn't very like emotional, mm-hmm. like I didn't right. cry or yeah, what yeah, also, yeah. but it was only that day before we had to deliver him. Oh. Yeah. No, but I think like the, the question that Denise asked that I think you should share also was like, what, how, how do you feel like, like knowing that the birth plan was like going to be natural and then suddenly having to like change plans like last minute? I think for me, it didn't matter that much. Also because the doctor already floated that idea mm. that we yeah. would need. That um, there was a good chance was, already. Yeah, yeah. Of, mm. of us going through um, C-sec. C-sec. So to me, it's like, yeah, the, the main priority was as long as the baby was um, safe, mm. then I think whatever choice, we would just leave it up to the doctor to decide for us. Right. So yeah. up to the point of the cesarean, you didn't feel any pain? I didn't feel any pain. So oh. No cramps? No, no, I didn't even need to do cramps. the epidural. So I did. Oh, she did do yeah, epidural. I did oh, the epidural. That's why you have more cramps, okay. <laughs> I did the epidural <laughs> only after the doctor stuck her finger, her hand in me oh. to check for the dilation. <laughs> because it was she very painful. It, oh. her hand. Yeah, it was too painful already when she did that. Oh. I think also because my cervix was swollen. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you can oh. imagine that if the finger, because during delivery, the vagina need to stretch, ma. Yes. So if like two fingers already cause a lot of pain, then it was probably going to cause a lot of pain during yeah. delivery. Oh. Oh. As in, a finger can reach the cervix, man. But because my cervix is also very low. It, it, it drops. Yeah. When oh, the baby, yeah. Yeah, 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 the baby yeah, 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 drops. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I always imagine dilation is like your vagina hole open. It's not the vagina, it's your cervix that opens. Wait, so my vagina oh. doesn't open. Um, so what they strange. do is that it, it, it's supposed to <laughs> it's stretch. currently open. <laughs> it's supposed to stretch and what oh, a lot of- business. Oh, business. Sorry, just kidding. <laughs> What a lot of mothers do in preparation is that they use the balloon thing to uh-huh. like stretch your vagina. Oh, sure. oh. We we didn't. didn't. Oh. We didn't. I have a friend that did. She said life changing. Yeah. Oh. Roxanne, Roxanne Gun. She 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 was pumping like weeks before and it was a time where it was completely archaic to me. Like I didn't know that this thing existed and she's like spending right. her own birth canal and then she like fitness influencer also. So she's like oh. Her, her Instagram is like work out all the way to yeah. her birth that kind. And oh. and so if I'm not wrong, as Sheena told me, the baby just like, oh. Wow. Yeah. Water slide. Water slide. Uh, <laughs> like we the head up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know a lot of people always say, oh, the head come out, the head come out. Then after the head come out, right? Then it's like, oh, okay. It's going to be easier. But then next is the shoulder. Shoulder, yeah. 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 It's, it's, I actually read a fun fact. I mean, oh. I'm not sure this is fun actually, but I read a fact about how the natural giving birth position according to gravity is clearly not when you're lying down. Ma. Yeah, you shouldn't be lying yeah, down. You Doggy, should, yeah. yet you are. Squatting. Like. No, so oh, this was because yeah, yeah. there was a king long ago that he had some crazy obsession and he wanted to see like the women giving birth so that he made them lie down as like a performance. And then, we've stuck. Ah. No, really? The, probably English, right? <laughs> yeah, it has to be. Or Spanish, one yeah. of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, I have a friend that um, she opted for a natural water birth at home. Mm-hmm. And so well to do on the family like money on. Okay. okay. And had her first child already at a hospital like a normal person. <laughs> then after that decide the second child want water to do birth. water birth. So I'm like, okay, like why la? Is it some spiritual encounter or you read a book? She's like, 
try ah. Oh, a correction. So her first birth was very traumatic, but like a normal person in a hospital. Mm-hmm. It and just then, took too long. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was very painful, la, a lot yeah. of complications. So, so the second one, she decided water birth, like as though, you know, like yes. better odds, I don't ah. know. Anyway, so she did it at home and she showed some pictures. Uh, the gory ones only see my pet, the explicit one only see my pet, so I saw some. Okay. okay. Um, wow. Basically, there was like a, like an inflatable pool in her living room. Huh. Huh, it's not a bathtub thing. No, I think it can oh my, you don't have a bathtub. Maybe you don't have a bathtub. Yeah. That makes know, so like. much sense. <laughs> and, and she just be pacing. Uh, then like a lot of the videos, she just like that. Like that. Oh. That seems traumatic as well. So. Yeah, that, that is crazy. <laughs> like this common sense, that, that's going to be more traumatic. But anyway, she successfully did it. So you you can get, what, what do you call this person? Uh? Dula? A doula. Oh, yeah. to, like, to come to your house and assist in the water birth. Then yeah. they just like, basically they catch a Wait, it's a doula and a midwife different? different. Yeah. Oh. So one of them can, can um, My wife. do yeah, yeah. like medical stuff. Um, I think a doula helps to assist with your birth plan and all. Then the, the midwife executes it. Oh my God, if I'm not wrong. It's so subtle. It's a little cutie. <laughs> Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. That's not the final form. <laughs> it's because you say then he oh, show you. Sorry. I'm a bit curious also, and this might be a bit of a more blunt question, right? Because, you know, I imagine the natural birth process, the father gets to be in the room, then, you know, hold the wife hand and count. Then, I mean, y'all probably also did the rehearsal for this, I was right? imagining, you know, I was imagining a very sweaty net and then I come and kiss her forehead. Yeah. So then, as in, given that it's a C-section, right, then you were, you just ended up waiting outside. What was that like for you? No, oh. they, they let me go in. Can go inside? Oh, yeah. Is it not oh. mad? And then she was awake. <laughs> she, <laughs> she was awake oh, the whole time. I, I was, uh, it wasn't an emergency like, C-section. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So they put a, they, basically she's lying down and then they put like a curtain where her right, boobs are. Right. So you cannot see anything that's happening Beyond. at the lower body. Oh, so yeah. local anesthesia. Yes. The half body, yeah. So oh. from my, from here onwards down, I couldn't feel anything. Oh. And the, wow, well, I just want to say, right, like the doctors during the, the procedure, right, were so good. Like, so good. So good. You really right. watched the entire operation. Yeah. Be, where where do you deliver? Uh, uh, Thompson, 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 Thompson Medical, and oh my goodness. So the whole time, right, the person that's in charge of the, I cannot pronounce Anesthesiologist. it. Anesthesiologist. Anesthesiologist, mm. right. Easy. It's just like <laughs> so good. He's like, okay, I'm going to put this now, right? And now you're going to feel the numbness over here, here, here. And then in like 10 seconds, he's going to feel over here, 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 or whatever. And just walking through right. the entire process. Right? And I'm just looking like, wow. It's like hypnosis. You're so right. good at your job, eh? And then like- <laughs> That's why they get paid the big bucks. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and then the whole time, like the whole environment with all the nurses and like our guy and everything, right? They all just know each other. It felt like such a great team. Like halfway through, right, they were like singing song or so. What song? Like it was a- What song? I can't remember. Or maybe they said like, hey, Probably I need to sing a song. to uh, Grace Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> because in Grace Anatomy, they also yeah. sing. It really felt yeah. like that. Oh. And we were just in awe of like, wow. Like really safe hands. And it was like- yeah, did, funny. Was that what you feel though? Like when I, doctor I really, started singing, will you be like, hey, uh, pay attention no, maybe? No, I was just distracted by the anesthesiologist because he was the one keeping me calm throughout the entire yeah. uh, right. time. So yeah. you were in conversation with that guy the whole yeah. time? Yeah. Oh. He kept asking me- You mean me, throughout the C-section? Yeah. He kept oh. asking me like, um, he, he was reassuring me that, okay, you know, everything's okay. Um, making sure that I don't feel anything. Cause mm. I mean, I've heard of horror stories. Mm. Like, oh, like, oh, yeah. 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 oh my God. Yeah. So they had to make sure that she was feeling numbers in the correct areas to the point where like, oh, you only feel on the right side. Then they will tilt the bit so that oh. she will flow towards the left side a bit more. So describe the feeling eh. Really nothing eh. I really didn't feel anything. You never even feel like, for example, like that. So the epidural itself, right? <laughs> Just the epidural. They made sure that I could feel my toes wiggling still. There okay. was still some like sensation. Like the lower body half yeah. um, But- Just to check that you're not paralyzed from the epidural. Yeah, because I think uh, they didn't want to make, they didn't want right, to make sure right. that I didn't have any nerve damage or so. Oh, okay. yeah. right, 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 right. But once I went into the operating theater, they were injecting a lot more. Um, Where? Here lah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, what a wonderful invention, the IV yeah. canal. Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so then by then I couldn't feel anything already. Uh. Yeah. Were so you, you had no idea whether you were open, for example. No. Oh. But you saw. No. Oh. But you know. Okay. So I, 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 yeah. I don't know. But what I could hear because the anesthesiologist was nicely distracting her in conversation. I wasn't. You not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear the snipping. Oh. The sing, sing, sing. And I was like. Of the scissors lah, not the flesh lah. Of the of the flesh. <laughs> you oh, can hear the it's flesh. Scissors. It's not like. So, sorry, no, no, no. So it's like. I mean, <laughs> 
So it's, it's scalpel. Scalpel. It's it's scalpel. Scalpel. Oh. So you can and he then said, no no because it's scalpel first, then you have to go through like eleven or eight layers oh of like God. whatever, right? So then like I can hear literally the skin like breaking. Or maybe I was imagining it, but I'm pretty sure it was that. And then the whole time I'm like, okay, if I'm hearing it, Nick can hear it. So I'm also like I feel that I need to distract her. So no, yeah. you never no la. What's that? <laughs> I would eh. I would go and see. Uh, you're There's not no curious uh. I don't want to miss the birth of my child. I will faint. I oh. will faint. No, but that's how you won't or you'll faint. Okay? Will <laughs> faint. Oh, I will faint. faint. Yeah. Also, you didn't see. He no. Did, did. no, there's oh. a lot of stories of the husband fainting, especially yeah. through natural birth, right? Then yeah. you don't expect to see the vagina in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like all bloody and everything. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Then like men just faint. I will. I have fainted at the side of blood before. Oh, no. This oh. will be the yes, worst yes, yes, way yes, to go. Imagine I don't even get to like carry my baby because I fainted <laughs> on the <laughs> OT floor. So, you another one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so because yeah. I could hear it, right? I felt like even though the anesthesiologist was like distracting her, I also felt the need to extra distract her. So like I also was asking her like random questions. You were just trying to distract yourself. Oh, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so correct. Sick, yeah. So it was more for me than her. I so would have wanted to watch it like oh. if I could. Yeah. But the whole thing took only like 15 minutes. Yeah, it was oh, very so fast. fast. Yeah. Very what? Fast. Can you opt for like no cloth? <laughs> I would lah. I would. I, I think. Yeah, like, like I feel like if the mom want to see like can ma. Cannot, I think you will panic. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah, you will yeah. want to see someone else's, but to see the thing go to you, then you will brace, man. Then actually, even you uh, cannot feel anything, right? But you see the knife cutting, right? You will suddenly uh, feel it, you know. I, like, I oh, like got live stream at the side, so like, okay, <laughs> father, you know, you just yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you can turn away, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get close. I think because of how like the procedure really requires like absolute precision, right? The last thing the doctor wants is for the the mother to start like uh, uh, feeling warming, everywhere. Yeah. Right. Right. No, but could you though? Could you keep the doctor if you so wanted to, you think? I no, keep you, the doctor. Like upper body she got no sensation. Can, I got no though. sensation. Yeah, lo, as in you cannot move, right? If you wanted. Yeah. Oh. Might as well make you sleep, right? No, but you already got so far already. No, but the G no, is more, more dangerous. dangerous. Yeah, G is more dangerous. Yeah. More dangerous, I mean. Up at the no, but you want to see <laughs> the moment when they like, here's your yeah. baby then from the cloth. That's yeah. true. Yeah, I, yeah. I feel like if I lie on a bed, right? And then the doctor touched my toe and I can feel my toe, right? I will scream. I can feel everything. <laughs> no lah, I, I feel like, I think, I don't know, you can probably speak more for it, but I feel like mothers would want to be awake for that moment. Yeah. Mm. We were so surprised because we thought the process would take very long, right? And then as I'm talking, I remember talking to Nat, I can't remember what about, right? And suddenly we just hear cries. Like in my head, it was like, cannot be, our son lah, maybe it's from like a different ward or what. Then you don't oh. dare to look. How thick the curtains are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you don't dare to look. Then you look, it's the doctor. Stop <laughs> <laughs> panic shit himself. Then the cries start getting closer and then we're like, oh my God, it's him. And then like the nurse is like, okay, father, come, we gotta go count his like toes already. And I'm like, oh. Count his toes? Yeah, so the, the 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 dad has a job. Like once the baby is ready, the nurse will bring him to like a warmer. Okay. So there's like a UV light or whatever and then like blankets. Oh. And then we have to check whether everything is all intact. Like he got all his limbs, he got all his fingers and toes right. and to make sure that he's healthy. La. What's your what's your theory on why they need you for that? I think you just give me a job la, so I that see, they see, are see, like see. stitching up the, the mom. You need yeah, to yeah. cut the cord. No, no, no. Oh, the, so the, the cord was cut already. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I think we, we see soon because I think they just really don't want the husband to go and see and then say something like, oh my God, that looks rubber. So, uh, you know, like, oh. the, they don't want you to react. Oh. Like, I, see, like, I, see, I, see, I see, I see. So they want to finish everything there, bring right. you the baby, then you get to enjoy the baby. Oh, so they brought myself. me aside and I froze because like they showed me like Ollie and then I was looking at him and then he was very blue. So like in my head, it's like, oh. is this correct or not? Like in my head, I'm panicking, but then the nurse is like still normal. Like, okay, so we count together. And then she's like, oh, okay. Uh, one, two, three, like without me. Cause I'm like, I'm like just staring. You and then after that, count. I, I look at Ned and then Ned is like, tell me something. Like yeah. I haven't seen, like why are you frozen? Like is he okay or not? After I went, Oh no, no, he's okay, he's okay. Then uh, I look for play, then the, the nurse is like, everything is fine, everything is good, he looks great. Uh, I'm like, oh, okay, so he's many good. Because never just asked, why is he blue? No, like- Then he playing the drum. He didn't want to ask it out so loud and like, scan that. I think, yeah, that, so that, no. Right, right, right. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't that. My, you were my, just frozen. My mind was just blank, like, <laughs> one is like, I can't believe this is happening. Two is like, oh my God, I'm a dad. Mm. Three, why the f*** is he so blue? Right. So they already wiped away the blood? No, 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 he was full of blood everywhere. But still blue. Still blue. Cause like basically he has- <laughs> How long it took to unblue? Um, <laughs> to get saturated. <laughs> so after he was there and then they brought her, uh, they brought him to be carried by Ned. Then they took him away to the nursery to like warm him up, to clean mm. him. So when he came back to us two hours later, then he was like normal colored. Right. Already. How was that moment when you finally can see Ollie up close? 
Wow, oh, it was surreal. Like, like I don't know. I don't know how to explain. Like, it's just like after ten months, <laughs> and then like, oh my gosh, you have a son now. Oh, just yeah. It was just like, <laughs> you have a son now. Like, yeah, it's, like, it's like mixed feelings, but uh, it's like a happy, happy kind of feeling. Uh, yeah. But this is their first time seeing his face. Yeah. 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 No, they did the 3D scan, which was pretty weird looking. Uh, but it doesn't look anything. Yeah, it doesn't look anything. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It was so what was your like first words to him? Is it like, hello? Hi, baby. Yeah, yeah. I think it was hello. You always start the conversation with hello. Yeah. <laughs> or like, or like, oh hello. my God. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly can't remember. But I oh the other thing also, he wasn't just that he was blue. I think when babies come out, so right, their heads look a little bit elongated at like the oh. back. Mm. So then my head is like, oh my God, is he okay? Right. But, right. but yeah. Did like, he have as, a, as much hair? Yes, is he came like out. like a normal amount of hair? Not for babies usually. Oh, yeah. depends on, I think. I yeah. mean, it depends on your genes also. Yeah. So, Nets jeans lah. Thankfully, <laughs> Nets jeans in terms of volume, but he unfortunately has my hairline. So you can see it goes all the way up to here. As, as I was telling him, right, guys with this kind of hairline, very handsome. But not. Yeah, but doesn't last. No, like, <laughs> <laughs> in my head, I don't know why, but I have a huge aversion to hospitals. Cause like in my head, it's like ICUs and like when visiting people, right? Mm. So like the thought of like staying two to three nights in a hospital was like, wow, what's it going to be like? But mm. it turns out that for maternity wards and hospitals and like the hospital that I went to, Thompson Medical Center, right? It's really a suite. Like when they call it a suite, it's really a suite. Like hotel suite. It feels like a hotel oh, suite. Like got like, extra bed. Uh. There's a there's a oh, area. Got bed, uh. Yeah, yeah. So no, there's no, a like extra for like, like for him. Yeah, for me, it room. was like a like a sofa, sofa. convertible. Mm. Oh. oh. But even in the ward before that, so in the delivery area, which is a different room altogether, right? There was a <laughs> there was a recliner recliner chair that I didn't know was a recliner oh. chair. So I sat down already. They gave me a blanket and I nicely tried <laughs> to like like sit like this. Yeah. Then I found a damn nice position and then I fell asleep. Uh, and then the nurse, nurse came in and was like, boy ah, uh, what are you doing? Like just lean back. Now like Huh? Oh, <laughs> it was a full recliner. Like it goes super flat. Oh, wow. First class, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, and then anyway, back to the suite. So like, they, they have even a little mini bar section got like Milo, coffee. Got oh, like, wow. yeah. free not? Wow. Free. Okay. Whoa. They tell you complimentary and everything. And then they even gave us like a candlelight dinner. Like you choose which day you want. Then oh. they do a candlelight dinner. It's not candle lah. It's like a little torch, but because oh. hospital. Oh. But no lah, but really got like a candle the light. La. Yeah. Oh. oh. It's like a proper meal. So because we, Whoa, the tier of sweets that we got, right? <laughs> okay. Um, husbands get same amount of meals as the mom or so. I really just okay. had the time of my life. No wonder you sleep so well. Yes, 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 and yes. they give you, for, for lunch and dinner, right? They give you four choices. So there's like Western, uh, uh, Asian, local. confinement and local. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and okay. then you just choose. So she will most likely choose confinement. I was just going through the spread. Today, let's do uh, Western. Then got like <laughs> smoked salmon. No, not smoked salmon, sorry, grilled salmon. Wow. So, and then after I try like the Chinese Fantastic. dish, all of this. And then in between also, right? They were like, if the nurse likes you, they will just give us like random cake. They don't out the nurse. And like Milo. <laughs> so how much you get? How many cakes do you get? <laughs> a lot. You know, right? We will accumulate cakes, right? And then supper, right? will be damn short. Cause like there'll be like literally four cakes. Just wet. Even though they can, they told you, um, they tell, they told us like, oh, you can only bring in two guests plus me. Uh, the suite is, is honestly like outing the people there. <laughs> is honestly big enough for like six people. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's damn spacious. I'm so happy that your baby is genuinely cute. Yeah, yeah, I was having too. a conversation with my friends the other day, right? And we were saying if your child's friend, uh, if your friend's child is genuinely ugly, then will you lie to your friend? Uh, cute, right? And I feel like I cannot bring myself to do it. Like I, I feel like, I'm like mm, that's a nice baby, but I, <laughs> okay. I, I would like, say it's oh a cute, so cute, you know. But you're lying already, you Why is it a nice baby? It, like it nice like just nothing. exists. Right. <laughs> nice no, but cute exists. is ugly but adorable. Whoa. So technically you are not lying, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh. Because it's ugly, but it's small, so it's still adorable. In the right. Oxford Dictionary, that's exactly the definition. Yeah. Got it, thank you very much. Yeah. It's really safe no my problem. social life for when my child, when my friends have kids. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's very selfish, but that was playing in the back of my mind also. In my head, it's like, please, I hope he's like cute. Because <laughs> I like, scared like people tell me like he's cute, but don't actually mean it. I don't think you will ever be objective about it. Like if we're all lying to you, but we're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But if we're all lying to you about, oh, hey, you're actually early cute. Oh, I'm just not ready. You won't know also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had this conversation with Dan, so I need to ask y'all. Yes. Because Dan's answer, right, completely didn't cross my mind. I feel like in this question, there was only one answer. Okay. Of which if at some point, if you ever have to choose between the life of the mother mm -hmm. or the child, is that even you, something you have to think about? No. Oh. <laughs> I said, I did discuss it with my fiance before. We don't want children. 
But let's say I, I did ask him so if <laughs> if let's say I you have to choose between me or the baby, right? He said me. Of course it's you. Because of course baby you. can make again what? So, it's like not common no, sense. No, but, but I'm like, no. Like huh? save the baby. So mothers will save the baby while spouses will save the wife. So in my yeah. head, so John was shocked by my answer because I said the baby, but he didn't give no, no, me he time. he didn't say the baby. La. He didn't say the baby. I, I said it would be a very, very difficult yeah. decision. And like, I think <laughs> I won't be able to know the answer until on the day itself. Uh. But um, ultimately it may be the baby, but I didn't explain my full like yeah, yeah, yeah. train of thought. The is reason is why is because chance. I want to save my wife for sure. She's obviously yes. the person I've known the longest, the person that I actually know. And like, we can always make another baby and all that. But I also know that if I save her over Oli and knowing that I think she would prefer me to save Oli, I don't know what life it will be like after that. Like, would she resent me mm. for having saved her life and not Oli? But is that not a small price to pay though? No, but on the flip side, you are high chance going to resent the baby. Oh, for sure lah. <laughs> <Damn, laughs> <I can't laughs> <jump Ollie. laughs> no lah, I'm kidding. Like, I know that was a joke. <laughs> Ollie watching this for years from now. John Paul thought, okay, I need to make the stupid <laughs> jokes, right? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's fair enough, but I think the the sense of purpose, I'll be overcome by a sense of purpose. Right. Uh, yeah, purpose. Purpose. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so Ned, was there really the outcome for you? Uh, if, yeah, I told him say that if anything, just choose the baby. See, that's crazy. Oh. That's crazy talking. Yeah, but lucky that's he didn't have to make that decision. Yeah, 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 yeah. If not, we wouldn't dare to ask uh, today. Yeah. <laughs> no, and also because um, prior to giving to delivery, the doctor may us sign a form. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So in the form, it says whether you wanna, um, in case of any emergency, do you want your doctor to make the decision, your spouse? or oh. something or uh, there was a third option yeah. I can't remember mm. we just look at each other and then we're like uh, we both said doctor, doctor decide oh. so, so doctor whatever decide. is the most medically sound like decision mm. to be made like doctor has the higher chance of survival yeah. is actually yeah. like an ACP yeah. like an ACP light yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. so at least I mean if if anything were to happen we don't hold resentment towards each other we so resent that. the doctor <laughs> oh hey, did you all have pregnancy sex and was it weird did you all try one time and decide never again it's very is that very what happened? weird yeah. it's very weird it's very weird you try it once and then it never happens. Yeah. Oh. Is, it like you can, is it because you cannot like, you keep like thinking like, oh my God, the, the baby, baby is there. I'm like just poking his head. <laughs> like obviously it's Someone not. Someone's slow. <laughs> <laughs> no, but why, if you don't want me asking, <laughs> I always go too far. Why did y'all decide to try? <laughs> <laughs> why, why did y'all decide to have pregnancy sex? Is it because like, it's been a while, the urge is too strong or it's be like, <laughs> we cannot let this pregnancy, right, destroy our sex life. Hence, let's just make the <laughs> deed happen. <laughs> Why ah? Uh, why did we? I think it was just <laughs> the Tony feeling, la. feeling uh. Yeah, uh, it was just, just oh. like let's just like just do how, it, lor. How, oh. how many months in like what trimester was that? Second trimester. Second. Okay. Yeah. Also barely a bum okay. la. No, because no. when first trimester is when it's risky, so you really don't want yeah. to shake yeah. up too much, you know. Yeah. Second trimester is safe, so it's like, all right, like, <laughs> finally get it going. Yeah. Yeah. And then after that, <laughs> no. Like, yeah, no, 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 it's too weird. Yeah. No. Do you know that I just found out today that it is possible for a woman to get pregnant while being pregnant? <gasps> yeah. Wait, oh, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. viable pregnancy? No. 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 Just now, uh, Ned was telling me also because I saw them like passing the baby to each other, right? Mm -hmm. Then she said when it, when they wanted to do this for the first time, it's like, you put on the bed, then it's like, okay, now you- <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, like in my head, I'm still like, oh my God, what if I like, let's say I'm walking, I like, oh my God, what if I trip on that? Then like, how do I save him? Do I like turn like oh, that, you know? Like and, yeah, 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 yeah. And sometimes when I walk, right, I will like just, I think I never told you this before, but like, I've never, I've ne he's never hit anything yet, but I would just nicely just miss like a door and I'll be like, oh my God, oh. what if that happened? Right. Then, like, I'm never gonna walk through this way again. <laughs> then like, I always like using my bag to like cover everything. Then after a while you get used to it and then you're like, okay, like a mm. bit more calm. But the first time, the first few days carrying him is just super yeah. stressed. And then his neck also, cause we always have to support his neck, right? And then when you watch someone else carry and then the neck's on that, we will both just like squeeze each other's arm like, <laughs> oh my Aww. God, I don't want anybody to touch my baby. Yeah. Then after you realize actually babies are a lot more resilient than, uh, than they are. Yeah. I, I think like two things shape like the way I interact with babies. I think the first one is watching a Net Geo. Oh. When, when I saw like, the like okay. no 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 in like <laughs> like, like, humans, humans. like this African tribes you know then they, they oh. just like carry the baby and it's just squatting at the heart yeah. and then the sun yeah. is just bang, and then it's just sandy and shit and the baby is just 
healthier and they, survive. Yeah. They become strong species, you know, like taller and stronger than Asian <laughs> people. And then the other one is actually looking at the nursery. Mm. Just I mean not my kid, like you know, just standing around, right? And just <laughs> see <laughs> oh, <laughs> because my as in my my godchildren. Oh. Okay. And then you see that it's not that they are rough with the babies, but they are just handling the babies. Yeah. yeah. Then you realize you know, they want hand, then they just pick, then they just put there. But for us, it's like, wow, you want to try and support at least 78% of the baby before you dare to live, yeah. right? Then it's just no need all. And these two things just kind of shit. But I, I want to do a call back to, you, you remember when we met at the wedding, the last we met, um, and I asked you like, even like ask like whether I could carry Oliver. And when you said yes, I still ask a few more times. Yeah. It was because that, I, I think we have this friend, I don't know if it's a friend or, or just something we heard that during some birthday party, right, they were passing their baby around and then someone dropped the baby. Oh my oh. God. And then the baby died. Huh? No! I cannot, I... Wait, what? Yeah, and it's, you imagine that it's a relative, man. It's a relative. So you, like, the the relative must feel like shit, but also you're going to hate this relative for the rest of your life because like, yeah. you even birthed the baby, eh. It's yeah. beyond the miscarriage, eh. Yeah, and, um, yeah, that's why I'm always very careful and like we usually don't ask. And if you're ever gonna carry and you're not very, very experienced with baby, we like, sit down. Sit yeah. down that's on the sofa, let the, mother, uh, let the mother <laughs> hand the baby to you, then you still stay sitting down and let the mother take the baby away from you. This is why I don't like to touch baby. Mm. No. <laughs> no. Just know when the baby oh. first arrives, then Alison just stand on the side like that. <laughs> no, but I really need to like look at the baby, but I, I don't have to touch, I don't want to touch it. Yeah, and mm. like don't, don't like kiss a baby. Yeah. Baby yeah. Baby yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. Always wash your hands also. Yeah, please always yeah. wash your hands if you want to touch your baby. Don't mm. pass the baby around if the parents never give permission. Mm. Mm. Don't kiss the baby. Just, just be respectful that the baby is not- Not your toy. Yeah. yeah I, th- I think the thing that gets us is like, um, I mean, it, it hasn't happened too many times, but like, I think when someone else is carrying the baby and then just like, someone else asks, oh, can I can I hold the baby? And instead of waiting for the parents to say yes, the person carrying says, oh yeah, sure. Right. Like it's not oh, yours yeah. to yours. say yeah. yeah, sure. So like that sometimes like, we, we panic a little bit, but right. the reason why I was so ready to pass it to you, I think is because I already had a few weeks of passing him to like a few people. So I right. think the first time I had to say yes, I was like, Right. Sure. But then I think by the time it was you, and plus I know that you have so many like god children. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, I trust. But I also, trust I also know that if I ask and then I scared you don't dare say no. So I said, so I, I waited two, three minutes, I faced around, <laughs> then I asked again. Then I asked that. <laughs> to be fair, I also didn't know how to say no. La. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> He asked the father after he asked the mother. Yeah. <laughs> we, no, like, like, how can I decline properly? Like, if there is somebody. Exactly, exactly. exactly. No, can we actually brainstorm? Because there will be people. Oh, I, don't know how, ask I don't know how you will possibly reject me. So I asked you twice, then I go ask Nick because I feel like. That probably knows how to say no better. You just go like dinner time, then you walk away. I think it depends on the uh. person though. Like if they are- well, you, you drop, like, you drop no, a half but, level but, <laughs> but how will you say no? Like, cause there will be someone that you maybe don't feel so confident right. holding, but they will ask. I feel ask. like you just say no eh. Like I think people will understand because it's a fragile yeah, thing. Yeah, I feel like at, at this point- No, I disagree people will understand. Like, I feel like your aunties will definitely- I will just say I'm not like. comfortable. Ah. Uh. <laughs> but then it's too bad already. Like I am, I need to protect my son. Yeah, but yeah, you, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. think you have the nuts to say? Like let's say it's his if auntie, his auntie. To, his auntie. But the auntie clearly like. Then he said to the auntie, she don't wash hands. Ah, she oh, it's don't. like oh, she, she coughing, she coughing. Like oh, <laughs> it's like no lah. Wow, that one I think really cannot. Dad have yeah. to. Have See, then that. Is that that? Is that that? Just say oh, he's a bit sensitive right now. Maybe next time. So you serious, serious. You just Did you hand me it. Oliver against your will? No. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. No. I feel so bad. Because I realize there's no there's just no way to say no. You just have to burn that bridge eh, and just never see that person again. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you cannot say no, but you can say, say what, uh, not right maybe, now. Not I, now. I think to be safer, don't ask la, to hold a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, you I think you are offering your la. baby to No, no, so just don't ask, just don't hold a baby. Have your own. To true to be the fall guy for each other. Okay. So yeah. okay. Ned made me agree that until the baby is at least three months old, mm. we are not gonna pass it around. Then you will say for then. Yeah. Mm. And if the verification comes, you must stand by it. This is very good, except that we just publicized it. So yeah, people know. Yeah. 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 That's a show. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why cannot? You can come and talk to me. <laughs> we already have photos of other people holding it. <laughs> But okay, okay, that's not bad. I think we just both need to agree like who's the bad guy depending on the situation. So like maybe if it's like her relatives or my relatives, then it might need to be the other person to mm. be the bad guy. Or who dare to say no lah. 
<laughs> as in, if you don't need to, if do, if you don't need to say no to her auntie, you dare to say no to your own auntie, and all. If you both also scared, then you quite yeah. useless again and alone. <laughs> <laughs> or you just wear a very complicated baby strap. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. just a baby carry. Then nobody yeah. will ask like, yeah, I want to hold. True, it's true. Onet also said that he likes classical music. Wow. Oh, what a what do you, <laughs> what what a I don't know out. about you guys, but when I was young, there was a myth that if you expose your baby to Mozart, right, and a similar classical or Baroque music, um, <laughs> they will become smarter. Okay. Mm. Oh. But then after a while, that myth got like busted or whatever. Okay. I don't care, I still believe. <laughs> so there was one time, right, where I think he was alone with me in like the room, because uh, I think Ned was hosting some friends, and I just went, I'm just gonna try lah. So there's Mozart lullabies for babies or something. Like there's okay. a playlist on Spotify. And then I started playing and then he just like was the calmest like ever. Oh. Even now, like today this morning or so, I just played classical music. He went from crying to just like. Yeah, just be oh. conducting. <laughs> so even if it doesn't make him smarter, it makes him calmer. And I think like that's, that's a human yeah, right, right, right. The other thing also is that if you are an emo kid, right? As a parent, you love emo music. There are bands that make lullaby covers of emo songs. Wow. Yeah. Like, um, so like, the whole family enjoys it. Exactly. Welcome oh. to the Black Parade. The lullaby is damn good. <laughs> oh, I'm not okay. Very good also. My Chemical Romance. Wow. My wow. Chemical Romance lullaby. Is that and the best thing right, about this is them smart because Spotify, right, they pay you out based on plays. Mm -hmm. If you <sighs> like the song and the baby likes the song, you are going to be playing it on repeat. So as a band, you're going to make a whole right. bunch of oh. money. Like that's a huge difference. That's how baby point. shark stonks. Correct. <laughs> so if you are a band and you're not making it at the moment, right? Consider making lullabies. Yeah. We should make NDP music for babies. Then they'll be super nationalistic. They grow up with a strong national identity. <laughs> True. <laughs> they grow up singing Majula. They start moving their... <laughs> 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 they sleep like this. They sleep. You tell me time to do push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for watching today's episode. We have enjoyed ourselves and I hope you have to everybody say welcome baby Oliver in the down in the comments and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. I don't know how I can love another child. Right. Maybe it might change and maybe I'll be overcome by a sense of purpose well, if again. Second yeah. If you do have a second child, they watch so this. So sorry. <laughs> we will delete this you know, so. you know that if we did end up having you, yeah. um, we love you equally. If one day you see the episode delete. <laughs> <laughs> then you know. But there's no running order, you will know that they are pregnant before they announce.